The following is a presentation that was made at the Cecil County Board of Education meeting on July 6th, 2022 regarding virtual instruction. The Maryland State Department of Education has allowed school systems in Maryland to consider remote learning for students. MSDE has allowed school districts to repurpose certain school days and use them as virtual school days. They will provide each district an opportunity to consider a total of eight days with guidelines surrounding five being synchronous and three as asynchronous days for learning. Maryland State Department of Education has provided several guidelines to school districts. First, on synchronous learning days, students must have a minimum of four hours of synchronous learning time. Secondly, attendance will be taken for all students and these processes communicated with parents. Next, there will be opportunities for students to make up missed work on these virtual days, and they will not negatively impact a student's grade with makeup opportunities also provided. The virtual day plan must be posted on a school system's website. And finally, that plan must be presented at a Board of Education meeting and parents provided an opportunity to comment. A small committee gathered to discuss how these virtual days will impact Cecil County Public Schools. Of these eight days, five are synchronous. The committee proposed that two of these days be scheduled days, one being October 3rd and the second being February 21st. The three remaining synchronous days will be held and used if there is inclement weather. Next. Three of these eight days are considered for asynchronous instruction. Again, three of these asynchronous days will be held and used if there's inclement weather. The remaining virtual days. If these days are not used for inclement weather, then we will consider the professional half days that are marked on our school calendar in 2022 to become virtual learning days. The current existing inclement weather days that are identified on the CCPS 2022-23 school calendar will now become days when school is closed. There are many logistics to consider when you are considering virtual instruction. For synchronous instruction on the two scheduled days in October and February, as well as for synchronous in clement weather days, instruction will begin at 930 for both students in high school and elementary school. Schedules will be provided by the schools for student learning and instruction will be provided during scheduled classes. For asynchronous learning, again, three of these days will be used for inclement weather. Work will be provided for students in Schoology or Seesaw Paper packets will be provided if parents request them, and teachers will, be, will provide a schedule of office hours to provide support to students who may require it. Instructional resources will also be provided to our students to support this virtual learning. In students in early childhood, paper prep packets will be distributed with instructional materials, and skill lessons will be assigned in Seesaw. Students in grades two through five will have lessons posted in their Schoology classrooms or paper packets will be provided for those families who request them. Middle and high school students will have all of their materials available in Schoology courses. All teachers are gonna be providing directions on how to access their learning through their Zoom link that will also be posted in their Schoology classroom. A daily schedule will be provided to all students so they know when learning will take place and how. Attendance will also be taken in the following ways. Students who participate in either school or Zoom will, will be considered present, and as students who complete their work will also be considered present for these virtual learning days. Students who choose not to participate will have the opportunity to make up work and have their days counted as present if this makeup work is completed. 
students should check email for directions from their teachers so that they know how to access their work. One of the components to make these virtual days work is access to technology. Cecil County Public School proposes to send a survey to families to find out who has access to a Chromebook as well as who has access to Wi-Fi. We are excited to, that our high school students have a one-to-one -one technology initiative for, the, for this school year. This will allow all high school students to have the technology that they need to access their learning remotely and during the school day. For those families that do not have a Chromebook or technology in their homes, a Chromebook will be assigned to students. Families who receive a Chromebook will also need to sign a user agreement. Each school has created a plan to distribute and then collect Chromebooks as well as AC adapters to and from students to support this virtual instruction. At this time, if you have public comments regarding this plan, they can be submitted via email to Kelly Keaton, Cecil County Public Schools Public Information Officer at kkeaton at ccps.org. And the public is also welcome to address the Board of Education during the public participation portion of the August 10th meeting, which will begin at 530 at the Carver Center located at 201 Booth Street. We thank you for your time and attention of considering this plan, and we hope you have a safe and happy summer.